dear students in the chapter of design of welded joints let us discuss lecture 72 representation of welds now in the representation of welds we make use of standards bear according to bureau of indian standards is 813 1961 tells us about the welding weld symbols and welding symbols internationally american welding society has given a standard aws a2.4 suppose this is the drawing this shows that this is a reference line with the tail indicating special instructions this is the weld symbol how to read it weld size and this is the arrow line it now there are two arrow lines pointing me to different lines or uh, intersections which shows that what type of weld is to be welding is to be done there now here we have a groove with some included angle we have some this is the groove penetration which is put in parentheses here is 2 2 is the weld length 4 is the pitch of the weld here in this drawing the dimensions have been put in inches but we can put it in millimeters too how to read a drawing and how to put welding symbols we will learn in today's lecture weld and welding symbols a basic symbol used to specify the type of weld is known as weld symbol an arrow and a reference line to indicate the location of the weld in a joint is used we add supplementary symbols to indicate special instructions such as finish weld all around etc we add dimension of the weld in cross section its length and pitch where required dear students let us now discuss how the weld symbol is to be shown for a square bed but welding and how the welding symbol is to be shown for the square but weld so for that this is the thickness of the plates so this is s so we say this is weld size weld size or for a square but but weld this is also known as the throat of the throat of the weld and the symbol is s next we always we put the weld symbol here on a horizontal line which is known as reference line then a arrow line an arrow line points to the weld it may be on the left towards the left side or the right side or up towards pointing towards up side or pointing towards the lower side so this points to the place where the weld is to be put now for square but the weld symbol is like this now this shows the contour for the present case i have taken the convex contour and the size which we have taken is placed here this is the size of the weld now more sometimes the welding say plate thickness may be more but welding is not to be done to the full depth or in the present case if reinforcement is there so this is penetration is more so this represents e represents this e represents penetration penny penetration 
or it is the groove weld side up to what depth we have prepared the groove it it is usually less than the size of the weld and it is shown in parentheses like this then along with the weld we put a number which tells the length of the weld then along with that with the, a hyphen we put pitch if intermittent welding has been done say for preparing the weld we have kept the root opening it is to be mentioned so that root opening will be mentioned here so if i tell you about the different terminology so this is the size of the weld and this is penetration r is this r is the root this l is the length of weld if it is it some if you have to weld throughout the length then this symbol may be omitted if the welds are placed intermittent welding has been done means you have done welding along a length leaving a gap then this is the pitch pitch of the welds so this shows the pitch of welds now one thing more these symbols are dimension size penetration root opening length and pitch you may mention in in inches or in mm now say now again we show a square but weld but here what we observe is the that the contours of the say this is the square but weld symbol contour is finished flat finish and say we use a symbol g that we have ground the surface next is here say the size of the weld is 10 mm so we write here size 10 then length of the weld say it is 50 mm we write 50 then say the pitch is 150 mm we write here 150 moreover if we want some instructions to be placed for for the welders and for the inspectors then what we do is we put the tail to the reference line and in this place we write special instructions we write special instructions whatever which are to be passed to the welder or the inspector moreover if we want that welding is not to be done in any workshop but it is to be done on the site where the fitting is to be done then we put a flag here this is known as field weld symbol so this flag is known as 
if it is put means welding is to be done on site field weld symbol now always whether placed up or down always to the left of the weld symbol this dimension tells about size this dimension tells about length this tells about pitch this tells it has flush contour this tells finish ground finish moreover suppose for welding we have given the instruction that this root opening is to be maintained say the root opening of 2 is to be maintained 2 mm so then inside the weld symbol we will put 2 this is the root opening now the next is we have to put the weld symbol for single v butt joint now here we will put the symbol say it is v it is flush then here we put the size say it is 10 here we put the length say we have done welding for 50 then the pitch is say 150 like this then in between we may write the angle this is a 60 degree here we put the angle and we have made the contour flush by grinding so i have put the finishing symbol g and the angle of the groove 60 degree it is a v groove flush of 10 mm size and 50 mm length so if i tell so this is the size because arrow is pointing this is the finishing symbol in this case it is grinding this is the angle of groove of grow this is the length and this is the pitch and this line shows it is flush contour so we have shown we have placed the weld symbol below the reference line because the groove has been prepared on the side of the arrow next is in this image in this figure we have shown groove on the other side means we will show groove here rest things remaining the same so if we place the weld symbol above the reference line then it means groove is to be prepared on the other side from where the arrow is pointing next is what is the difference here is the size of the if i take the pen different 
size of the weld is this it is the weld size penny or group preparation is up to this e say e is r a e is 8 mm size is 10 mm then we, what we have to do now the groove has been prepared on the same size side as from where the arrow is pointing so we will have to put the symbol down now contour is convex we will show that contour to be convex here we will write the size of the weld and in the parenthesis we will write the groove depth say it is 8 mm or whatever it is so for example we have taken like this so this explains the single v but now what we do is let us show the weld symbol for a double v but weld we, what we observe is the towards the arrow side we have a v weld with the flush contour in and the angle is 60 degree so we will show it on the other side we have again v groove and convex surface say we have made turn the surface flush by grinding so we will put g sip like this suppose it would have been both the v grooves v grooves are having reinforcement then the symbol would have been like this so this is about double v next is single u but weld in this weld we are showing a u weld on the side of the arrow so we will have to make it downwards with the convex surface like this so this is a single u but weld next is double u but weld so for that the symbol is like this both side we have a convex reinforcement so it will be like this next is single bevel but weld in this it is on the side of the arrow so we will have to put it downwards so we have a bevel like this this is single bevel but weld this is double bevel but weld so this will be shown like this in the drawing then a single j single j but joint so it is on the side of the arrow so we will show like this single j but weld next is double j but weld like this this is the fillet weld it is towards the side of the arrow so we will put the fillet here here we will put the size this is the t joint with the double fillet so what we do is we put the double fillet weld on both sides of the arrows and here is with the size of the fillets fillets size may be varied even the 
lack of the fillets may be varied, varied. suppose it is to be varied is what we may do is we may put leg as 4 multiplied by 2 means the two legs are of different dimensions even this can be maintained now next is the T joint with the V groove V groove is on both the sides so we can show it like this Now, suppose we want to weld a circular rod to a plate, then we have placed the plate, a circular rod over the plate and we want to weld with the fillet weld of size say S. Now we want to give instruction that welding is to be done all around the circular rod. So we put a circle here in the symbol where the reference and arrow lines are intersecting so we would weld on all around the rod like this and this symbol is known as this symbol is known as weld all around symbol next is the stud weld so simply for that the symbol is we put a show start perpendicular to the reference line next is this is the bead weld as put in the edge joint this is the symbol for spot weld we can mention the number of spots to be put and this is the symbol for seam weld so dear students in this lecture we have discussed various weld and welding symbols basic basic symbols we have discussed more can be discussed as per the requirement thanks for the patient hearing